Hey guys, it's Finn and Sky here from Finn's Graphics and Finn's Games, and welcome to Mastermind Tutorials. This is the first tutorial, and today, Sky, I'm going to be showing you and everyone else how to build this. You're supposed to be impressed. This is an amazing uh, feat that I've created. This is a automated wheat farm. It's actually a really big wheat farm as well, so the payout uh, is really good. And uh, basically, all you have to do is just hit this button. Don't hit it, though. Don't hit it. Is hit this button, and uh, all that wheat will come crashing down, and it'll all come right here for you to pick up. And uh, all you have to do is run back up the side here and uh, plant it all again, and it'll be golden. Now Can that I've said, tell me not to hit a button. Hit the button, Sky. Go ahead. Here we go. It's raining. It's wheat. raining wheat. Um, so yeah, you might not, you might not want to pick all that up because that's gonna like completely fill oh, up your inventory. Oh yeah. Um, so <laughs> yeah, the maybe rain. not the idea. Woo. Um, but yeah, it, it lags out your game a little bit. Uh, but you get tons and tons and tons of wheat, as you can see. Oh my I'm goodness! It rain. Look at all this wheat, sky. Look at it all. There's so oh, much. Oh yeah. Wow, so that much was, wheat. Uh, pretty productive. Yeah. So I mean, it gives a lot of wheat. Uh, there's also a lot of seeds as well. And all I have to do is hit the button again, Sky. So if you want to hit the button again, go for it. Okay. And uh, that'll stop the water flow. This one only uses a few water sources at the top, uh, and the water flows all the way down. So it makes it a little bit slower uh, to stop and start, but it doesn't really matter. This is actually the very top of the entire thing, uh, so you can see down Whoa, all the way down I to the can bottom. See my house from. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, oh so now this guy's stuff. now this guy's out of the picture. Uh, I'm gonna you know finish off with this review. Um, so yeah, all you have to do is replant all your seeds, which takes quite a while. Uh, but you know there's really no way to get around that unless you have some sort of villager system. Uh, so yeah, replant all your seeds and I'll let them grow, and then you can do it all over again. So we're gonna be showing you guys today how to build this. So Sky, let's go show them how to build it. Dude, I had my inventory so sorted as well. <laughs> and like... now you died, and just all your stuff was just like wheat laying everywhere. All right, Sky. So this is where we're gonna be building uh, the wheat farm. I've got it all kind of laid out here. This is the little spot. We're gonna build it in and uh, it's already the right size and everything and not only that But I have all the items we need in this chest here uh, So we have ten That's stacks of, of wood, which is what we're gonna start out with uh, we also have uh, what is that one two three four five six stacks of dirt We have eight water buckets three and a half stacks of glass one and a half stacks or like you know I guess it actually is half a stack of because yeah, like a stack is 16 exactly so like yeah one and a half stacks of signs and uh, eight dispensers and ten redstone so this is kind of the bare essentials and uh, you can actually make it out of anything you want so if you want to replace this wood for stone or whatever that's fine we're gonna be using wood so I'm gonna grab Except all this for wood you here you can't replace redstone with string or something no you can't repla you, you can't replace anything but the wood the wood's <laughs> the only replaceable thing so okay uh, yeah that's the only thing you can like do and the want, glass so. uh, well you could replace the glass you could but then it's the not bright enough for you know the wheat to grow so oh, you're not use torches, torches whatever but yeah Okay. So, yeah. Got it. So yeah, basically the only thing you replace is the wood, really. I mean, that's the only, the, your only, only okay. option is changing the wood. All right, so first up, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, place your wood in a pattern like this. You're gonna wanna leave the corners out and do eight across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So like that, so do that. You're supposed to be doing it with me, Sky. Come oh, on. Come one, on. two, three. No, she's, three, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, good enough, good enough. All right, so and then once you have your eight blocks there, there, and there, you don't want to place one block, sort of kitty corner to that on each side, so place one block there, perfect. And then we're going to do this all the way up, 21 blocks high, so all the way up to that little piece of glass there. One, so we're going to keep doing three, this over and over, four. 21 blocks up. So yeah, it's going to take us a minute, and I'll be back once we have this all the way built. All right, so we've gone all the way up. As you can see, this is really high, and uh, yeah, we use up most of the wood. Um, but you can actually go as high as you want with this. If you want to go higher, you can. Um, you can basically just you know do the design all up to the sky limit if you want to. Uh, we kind of just <clears throat> to the sky. Yeah, you can build up as high as you want. Uh, we kind of just picked a limit that we want to go to. And then planting all your seeds will be. Yeah, a pain too. yeah, planting will be a pain. You have to like go all the way up and plant every single time. So yeah, this is a good size. Let's go back down and move on to the next step. All right, so the next step would be the glass. I'm gonna grab the glass out of the chest here, and uh, the glass goes in the front like you guys saw. Uh, but you don't actually want to do the entire thing with glass you want to kind of have like one block above uh that way the water can sort of flow out of the um of the area here okay um so we're gonna use, need to use something to get up though thanks perfect <laughs> all You're right welcome. so let's place the glass and we're gonna place the glass all the way to the very top just like we did with the wood and then you're gonna want to place wood on the top just like this okay uh, what are we gonna do about this gap here? Uh, yeah, there's kind of a big gap here. We need a roof uh, So what we're gonna do is actually place glass all the way along the top here uh, for the roof this Walking on glass here and again You don't really need to use glass But it just kind of makes it brighter and then once the glass roof is done You're gonna place uh, these little wooden uh, sort of like I don't know They're sort of like little wooden water holders in the corner just like this um, So you want to place like one block out and then make another little kind of fake corner So there's a little hole going down and after we're done those little corner pieces uh, We're gonna want to grab a couple of water buckets and then you're gonna want to magically come back up to the very top of the structure and uh, place oh, the water 
yeah. buckets in each corner uh, just like that. And as you can see, it's going to pour all the way down the side and uh, hit the ground. And actually, we were supposed to make little holes for it to go into so it doesn't just pour everywhere. Oh, yeah. um, so oh, well. that we'll, do, we'll, do, that, we'll hey, do that after. Guess what we can do now? What? <laughs> Woo! Oh, I almost hit that block. So next up, I guess we'll do the dirt. Um, so we're gonna have to grab oh, okay. all of our stacks of dirt, which is quite a lot of stacks of dirt. We're filthy rich. <laughs> we're filthy. Ri we're filthy rich with all this filth of dirt. All right. So actually, I'm gonna just break in. I'm breaking and entering. Don't just don't don't mind me. Quick, officers, get him! <laughs> I broke and entered. All right. So with the dirt, what you're gonna want to do is place it two blocks above the ground, kind of like this, and one block away from the wall, just like that, and then place it all the way across and all the way back, and then basically just fill up this entire inside with the dirt. You're also gonna wanna leave one block of space between the back. So there's one Whoops, block of space sorry. between the back and one block of space between the front. And then you're gonna wanna do this for every single level, but you're gonna wanna kinda alternate it a little bit so that the next level actually connects with the wall. Uh, so again, two blocks above your head, so like this, uh, but this one's gonna actually connect with the wall, and um, then the next one is not gonna connect, and that's gonna allow the water to sort of pour down in the right way. So yeah, like I said, you just wanna alternate where this one doesn't connect with the wall, and then the next layer does connect. I place some torches to kinda keep it bright in here, and uh, then we're gonna go on to the next level and do the same thing but whereas this one does not connect so you got the right idea sky making sure this one doesn't connect okay, and the next goodness. one after that will connect and you want to do this all the way until you get to the top <laughs> Alright, so the last materials you need are one, two, three, four, five, six, and then let me just grab seven, eight water buckets, uh, eight dispensers, ten redstone, and the signs. So let's go back up and I'll show you where to place these. Okay, so how do we do this again? Well, Sky, I'm glad you asked because it's a very complicated really? process. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually break this first layer of dirt that you place, which seems very counterproductive, uh, but you're gonna wanna do that really quick. So just uh, break that. And then once you've broken it, place another layer, one down. So can you do that real quick? Place like one layer okay. down there, just like that, perfect. And then you're gonna wanna stand in that to place your uh, dispensers. So you wanna place them like this. And uh, actually what we want probably is to place, I'll grab one of these dirt, place that here. And then you wanna place the dispenser on that. And the reason you do that is so you can get it okay. facing downwards. It's kind of a complicated process, uh, but it's kind of the only way to get your dispenser facing downwards. I thought downwards. you said it was gonna be simple. And I, I never, I never said it was gonna be simple. Did I say that? I was, I I'm fa pretty falsely. Sure you did. I said it falsely. All right. Um, wait. Can you uh, place liar? Piece, place a piece of dirt there. I kind of need some help. Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. All right, so then once you've done that, uh, you can break all the things you just did. Basically, that was only to get the dispensers facing Every in the right oh, okay. direction. And then once you've done that, you want to place all of your water buckets inside of the dispenser. So don't place your water bucket; just put the water bucket inside of the dispenser. All right, so <laughs> once you put your water buckets Mr. in there, uh, you're gonna want to place your redstone on top of that. So just kind of like all. Oh, I can't. You have to shift. You have to shift to place to place redstone on top of it. So just hold shift. You could jump, just right click on the wood too. Place it. Does that work actually? Yeah, it does. Oh wow, it does! Amazing. Yeah. All right, so yeah, place place on the wood, and then once you have new every day. Yeah, exactly. And then once you have your redstone all the way across the top, uh, you want to break the back piece of the of the wood here, just like just kind of break it casually. Doesn't doesn't matter. Just all right. Get... So once you've got the two broken. Yeah, once you have Mr. two broken, and it's symmetrical. Then you place the two redstone that you need right there and right there. Actually, ah, uh, you know what? Let's, let's let's just ditch that one and just do the one. Just do the one. I'm, 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 changing, sure? changing, I'm changing my. I'm sure. I'm it's sure. unsymmetrical. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but it's, it's required. And after that, you are basically done. All we need to do is some finishing touches. Like if you want to rig up this redstone to go all the way down to the bottom uh, like I had with the button You can do that or you can just put a lever right there and I turn it on and off and that'll actually activate it But I assume we want to have it rigged up all the way to the bottom and uh, also you're gonna be able to get up from every level uh, So we're gonna put some ladder on the side here so you can actually get up to every level okay. and uh, not have to do this Oh, oh dang it. No, no, no That was close buddy. You almost you almost met your maker. No, I, I tried to get it. <laughs> so let's just add those finishing touches really quick, and then I'll show you the final working product. Oh, and I forgot one crucial thing, the signs. That's really important. We've rigged up the redstone. We've added the uh, little ladders on the side, uh, but we forgot about the signs. The signs are really crucial. Uh, so what you want to do with these signs is you want to go on every... <laughs> you do not want to place them blocking your way. Okay. <laughs> What you're gonna want to do with the signs is starting from the bottom. You're gonna want to go on every other level uh, and place the signs on the edge here, and that's gonna stop the water uh, from traveling down, kind of like uh, it does in the back here. How we alternate uh, going in the back here. Uh, we're gonna do that, but the opposite with the signs. All right, there we go. That should be done. Okay, I think that means the entire thing is completed. I think we finished it. All right, nice. nice. Just when you thought it was finished, we now have to till all the soil and add all the wheat. Oh my. So we'll goodness. do that really quick, and then it will will be completed but right now we have a general functioning wheat farm nice
All right, we finally got it all planted. It takes a while to plant the entire thing, but there we go. This is our completed wheat farm. It's all done. You now have a fully automated, well, not fully automated, a fully farmed and operational wheat farm. <laughs> Yeah, Seth yeah, Lord there you go. That, that, that works. That? that works too. That works too. <laughs> so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this mastermind tutorial. I feel like we should end it off, I guess, by hitting this button and just showing that it works. And I'll quickly show you how the redstone works as well. Uh, basically, you just put some redstone all going all the way back, making sure you do repeaters so the signal doesn't lose strength. Uh, that goes to these blocks where you just alternate between uh, redstone torches and blocks all the way up to the top. And then that connects uh, with the redstone up there. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of how you rig it if you wanted to rig it all the way down here. And then when you hit the button, ta da! The water will pour down and uh, break all the all the seeds, and they'll all oh, come pouring magical. down here. And uh, you can just walk down and pick them all up. And uh, yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow. The seeds coming. It's coming down, and we didn't wait for the wheat to grow, so already the seeds. Uh, but you know, that's fine. You know, no, no, not a problem. Not a problem. And uh, there we go. In the movie references. There we oh, go. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. 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 Ah. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how it works. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this mastermind tutorial. If you want to see more from Sky and I, you can check out our channel. It'll be in the description. And if you want to see more mastermind tutorials, there'll be a card up there uh, that you can click to see more. And uh, definitely let us know in the comments below what you want us to teach you how to build next in mastermind tutorials. Spin Sky out. Peace. Peace.